Hello, everyone. This program outputs the word- What program? There's no program here. Well, in the language whitespace, you can't see your program, since the main characters used in the language are spaces, tabs, and new lines. AKA, the characters most languages ignore. Do you want to know what the rest of the characters do? NOTHING! Whitespace was made by Edwin Brady and Chris Morris, and it was posted to Slashdot on April 1st, 2003, causing many people to think it was an April Fool's joke. Now, because showing the code by itself, without any highlighting, is kind of impossible to see, therefore making this entire video pointless, I'll be showing tabs in blue and spaces in red. Commands in Whitespace all begin with an Instruction Modification Perimeter, or IMP for short. Or IMP if you actually want to pronounce it like that, but I won't be pronouncing it like that. Anyway, there are five different IMPs, and they are Stack Manipulation, Math, Heap, Flow Control, and Input Output. After the IMP, you actually type the command, followed by any perimeters. Note that for each command, you need to retype the IMP. The Stack Manipulation IMP is just a simple space. The first command in this IMP, another space, will push a number onto the stack. Now, you may be asking yourself, how are you supposed to put in a number if the language doesn't know what digits are? To that I say, binary code. Yes, you put in the numbers by using binary, with a space meaning 0 and a tab meaning 1. To end a binary number, you enter a new line. Anyway, the next command is executed by typing a line feed followed by a space, and it duplicates the value on top of the stack. Swap out the last space for a tab, and you will instead swap the top two items on the stack. Lastly, you can pop and discard the value on top of the stack with two line feeds. If you use the IMP of tab followed by space, you are able to do math. You can do all the basic math operations in this language. The operation is done with the first value popped on the left of the operator, and the second value popped on the right of the operator. Basically, the opposite of Pete. With the IMP of just a line feed, you can control the flow of the program. Pressing two spaces, followed by a unique sequence of spaces and tabs, will create a label in the program and assign its name to the value of the spaces and tabs. If you press space, line feed, and then the label's name in spaces and tabs, it will jump to that label. With tab tab and tab space, you can check if the value on top of the stack is negative or zero respectively, and then jump to the label following it if the condition happens to be true. Space followed by tab will do the same thing as the regular jump to label command, but treat it as a subroutine. The tab line feed command will mark the end of a subroutine, and return to where it was called from. Lastly, two line feeds will end the program, and this can appear anywhere in the program, not just at the end. As you can see, this program uses go-to statements a lot, so because of that, it would be pretty easy to make spaghetti code. There is also a heap in this language, which can be accessed with the IMP of tab tab. To store something in it, you use a space, and it pops two values and uses them as the value and location. To retrieve something, you use a tab, and it will pop the top value, use it as the address of the heap, and push the value in that address onto the stack. The last IMP is tab line feed, and it is the IO IMP. Two spaces will pop and output the top value of the stack as a character, while a space followed by a tab will output it as a number. Tab space and tab tab will get input from the user as a character or number respectively, and place it in the heap at the location given at the top of the stack. Anyway, now it's time for the simple text outputting program, which will output the word white. The first thing you want to do is push the letter W to the stack in binary, so we enter the stack manipulation INP, which is just a space. Next, you want to type another space to tell the program to push a value, followed by the letter W's binary code, which is 01010111, with each zero being a space and each one being a tab. After that number is inputted, you type a new line. This will push that value onto the stack so it can be outputted. Next. You want to type the IO IMP, which is tab new line, followed by two spaces, which will output the character. Now, we want to push the letter H to the stack, so we type a space, followed by another space, and then the letter H's binary value, and then a new line. We then output the value in the same way as the W, so tab new line space space. We keep repeating this process until we have the entire word done. This program only outputs the word white, but the version of it in the description outputs the entire name of the language, space and all. I shortened it so that it would fit in the interpreter's text box without needing to scroll. Anyway, I made a truth machine in this language, and here it is. Unlike the one I made in Velado, it can actually get input. Now you may be saying, A truth machine has already been made in this language! It's even on the Esselang's wiki! What's the point of making another one? And to that I say, There is no point in making a new one. But, mine works on the tio.run whitespace interpreter, and that one doesn't. 
The one on the SLing's wiki is shorter, though, so it has that going for it. I also made an add or subtract program. Yeah, remember those? They were in the paint video, which was only two videos ago! Well, yeah, you're right. It hasn't actually been that long. But nevertheless, I made one in white space. It actually uses all five of the IMPs in the language. However, it is still quite difficult to make it due to the fact that there are only three characters in the entire language. I also put a comment in the margin of the program, but since I can't use spaces in it, it sounds like I'm out of breath. This was the worst program that I had to write ever! Anyway, the program does work fine, and since most languages ignore whitespace, it is possible to write a program in another language and have this one hidden in it like a secret message. Anyway, if you want to try out whitespace, a link to an interpreter is in the description, as well as to my programs. Anyway, thanks for- WAIT A SECOND! I almost forgot something. In the next video, I will be doing a two-dimensional programming language, and you guys will be voting on which one it is. You can choose between the original 2D programming language, BeFunge, a newer language, ASCII Dots, which is meant to look like ASCII art, or Mario Lang, which was designed after Super Mario levels. If you are on YouTube, vote using the card right here. If you are on Vidly, just leave the vote in the comments. Be sure to vote before September 10th at 2pm EDT if you want your vote to be counted.